Hi, I'm Jean-Pierre Nsabiman, instructor in welding. Today we are going to see how to set the, the welding machine. We have different welding machine, but today we are going to see sheet metal arc welding machine. Uh, before we do the, the settings, I would like to introduce what is sheet metal arc welding process. In short, you call it SMAW, sheet metal arc welding process, is one of electric arc welding process whereby we use a heat. The heat is obtained between the electrode and the base metal connected to a welding machine through the cables. Uh, before we go to setting, I would like to show you the equipment to be involved. We have the welding machine. This is the welding machine. Uh, this machine is AC welding machine, means alternating welding machine. Uh, on this welding machine, the, we have two options. It can use single phase or three phase. We have 330 volts and 400 volts. Means that if you're using the single phase, you have to switch on this side. If you're going to use the three phase, you have to go to on this side. Means that this machine also, uh, we have three ways to connect the, the cables. But on this one, you can use only two cables. Means that on this, we, if we connect the cables, on 70 volts means that for the reading, we use this lower reading. When we use the lower one, the 50, we use the upper reading. And then here we connect the other cable. For welding process, we need a welding machine. This is the welding machine. And then we have two cables. This is the electrode cable. It is a cable connected to the welding machine. And then finally we connect the electrode. Also, we have the earth cable. This is the earth cable. It will be connected to, on one connection, and then on this one, it will connect the welding job or the base metal. For example, this one, we connect it here. And then this one, it can be connected on one. If you connect on 70, means that for the reading, as I said, it will be this one. Also, you can disconnect those cables. You can use on other machine. So when you use this kind of welding machine, we can connect the cables. The ca we can interchange the cables. There is no effects. Even you see here the earth clamp, even the, the electrode holder, but we can interchange the cables. There is no problem because the heat we receive on both Terminals are the same. Apart from this AC welding machine, also we have the DC welding machine. The DC welding machine, to know it, we have the negative and positive. And then, when we are using the DC welding machine, it is a little bit different from the AC welding machine because on the, we say that on the AC welding machine, we get the, the same heat on terminals. But for the DC welding, machine, when you have the positive, this positive will receive a large amount of heat compared to the negative. Means that you have, you have to be careful when you're going to connect this machine. And then, as I was saying, we have two cables. This, we say that is electrode cable. We can connect it to the positive. And then we connected this, another cable to the negative. And then, why, what do you mean by this one? Means that this electrode will receive this electrode. Means this electrode will receive a large amount of heat compared to the, to the cables connected to the negative. Where you connected the, the base metal. This is the base metal. We connect it here. Means that if we interchange the cables, there will be effect. Because I said that the heat is not distributed equal. Now, 
we have connected our cables. And then a part of the, the welding machine, we have some accessories. This we call the hand shield. It's used to protect our eyes from the rays we get when we are getting the, the arc. Also, we have the helmet we can wear on the head like this one. We have the, a tongue. This tongue is used to hold the hot metal. We are not using our hands to hold the hot metal. We have to use the, the tongue. We have the chipping hammer. This chipping hammer is used to remove the slag after welding. Also, we have the wire brush. This wire brush, it is used before, during, or after welding for cleaning the base metal or to clean the weldment. And then we have a direct rod, as we are saying. This is the erect rod. Direct rod to be used for welding mild steel. For example, this kind of erect rod is, according to American Welding Society, this is E6013. This kind of electrode. If we use this electrode, it can be used in AC and DC. When we are using this kind of electrode, we can use the range of amperes of 50 and 90 amperes. This is the range. You can use 50, you can use 60, you can use 70, 80, and 90, dig, uh, 90 amperes. There is no, no problem. So in case we use this one, this electrode is 3.2, that one is 2.5, the diameter. This is AC and DC. When you are using this kind of electrode, we use the range of current from 90 up to 130. This is the, the range of the, the current to be used. And then, for example, this machine, Now the machine is switched on. So for example, if we have this one, you said that this is 2.5. We say that the current is between 50 and 90 amperes. Means that if I want to choose this kind of, we have to reduce the current. We can use 85 is in range of 50 and 90. Do not use more than 90. If you are going to use, for example, this is 3.2, we use from 90 up to 130. You can increase the current. You can use 125. So if we, this one is the digital one, it is showing you the current you are using. Also, depending on the resistance of the, the base metal, the current can be changed automatically. As long as you are welding automatically, the machine will show you the current you are using. Uh, also after, you can check if the machine is is connected because we need to weld, we need to join. You have to see if the current is passing through. Now, we can do the welding. Means that the machine is setting proper. So this is the end of today, next time we shall see how we can do the bead weld by using sheet metal arc welding process. Thank you for attending my class.